Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the sensation of the breath. And if there's any other noises that come in from the outside or thoughts in the mind, just let them pass by, pass by. You don't have to get involved. Think of your mind being like a screen on a window. The breeze comes in through the screen, but the screen doesn't catch the breeze and isn't moved by the breeze. This is a, an important principle, not only while you're meditating, but as you go through life. You can't expect everything to be perfect outside before you try to develop some perfections inside. You have to start by saying, okay, I'm going to do what is good. And as for the things in the world that come past, just let them go past. If they're not going to help you and you're doing good, just let them go. We can't wait for the rest of the world to be good first. It has to start with us. That means we have to put up with a lot of things as we're working on the mind. Then it's good to put up an attitude of non-opposition. You're not going to try to shield yourself, but you're not going to let yourself at the same time get swayed by other people's actions. So this is why we have a, the breath as a good place to stay. That's the screen. Those are the hard wires of the screen that don't get moved by the wind. This is our solid place inside. We don't let our solid place get disturbed by other people. As the Buddha said, the ideal mind is one that's like a pillar of rock, 16 spans tall, 8 spans buried in the rock. The winds blow from all the different directions. Gain, loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. But the pillar isn't moved. It knows these things and it tries to get use out of these things. This is where the analogy breaks down. But your mind tries to get good use out of these things. It's not just a matter of liking or not liking. If you gain material things, okay, what's the best use for them? You gain status, what's the best use for them? When you lose material things, when you lose status, okay, what's the best way to reflect on that so the mind isn't damaged by these things? And the same with praise and criticism, pleasure, pain. Try to be impervious to your likes and dislikes, and then you can see things for what their true uses are. That way you can get the most out of the environment around you without being blown away by the environment. So if you're meditating out under the trees and there's the noise of the equipment down at the bottom of the hill, just let the noise go past, go past. It doesn't destroy your breath, it doesn't destroy your awareness. And it's your awareness and your breath, those are the things that matter.